Good afternoon, people. Well, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's topic is going to be about the mesh system, uh, particularly this one, the TP Deco P9, which have been released quite lately. Um, now, the the reason for me buying this is that uh, at home I've got multiple TVs, multiple devices running simultaneously and we're struggling with the uh, broadband router based f in, in terms of signals. Um, Sometimes the, the, the it's too far out uh, the range and therefore the uh, connections drop in whether you're on phone or tablet whatever it is it doesn't matter so for example the 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 I've, I've got three room on the ground floor uh, the front living front room living room and the kitchen and then upstairs I've got three bedroom and a utility or I should take a uh, bathroom basically so there's four rooms upstairs so the route is situated on the front room when I'm sat in the kitchen trying to browse through my phone, the signal drops quite significantly. I've tried the inline power kit, like these for example. Them, okay. It works to a certain extent, but the speed, uh, the download speed drops quite significantly. So for example, my broadband isn't great, but it's okay. I'm, I'm getting around about 50 megabytes per second, 45, 50 megabytes per second, close to the router as I'm sort of away. It starts dropping. When I'm utilizing these these power link adapter, the BT one, what I've just shown you before, it, it drops to around about sometimes it's as silly as uh, five megabytes, three megabytes per second download. So the dr the power line kit does isn't as good as it should be. So this is where this bit comes in. Okay, now the other thing about this power line is that yes, it can be configured and it does uh, broadcast 2.4 gigahertz frequency. It's not on a 5 gigahertz frequency, uh, basically, whereas this, so we believe, that should broadcast both frequencies, the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Um, and that's where I went wrong. Some of my appliances only supports 2.4 gigahertz. These mesh systems that are available, whether if it's Netgear or TP-Link or various other brand, you've got to be careful what you're buying. Don't just randomly go up there and start picking things up and buying like just I did. Um, you know, this is a, a decent unit, the P9 series, which have literally come out. That the, 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 these devices don't have separate SSID broadcasting so with the router I've got I can configure it to have two channel or SSID I should say so 2.4 and then 5 gigahertz with these what they do is they combine them together and starts broadcasting a single sing single SSID now apparently on on this particular model the P9 CV model do not have that option as of yet but TP-Link stated on the website that they will sort of add these features on as time goes on basically now let me show you this on my mobile phone now you're spending nearly 200 pound on a uh, on, on a set of uh, mesh system um, and you expect to come across with something as, as stupid as that so I'll let you sort of read through this So De 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 Deco provides both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi uh, network with the same network name. If you want to use the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz only, you can you you can switch off the unwanted Wi-Fi band into the Deco app. Note this is where the 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 bullshit comes in basically. Okay. Note for now only M5 P M5 M9 Plus and M4 have this feature. Other models will add it in future firmware upgrades. What? That is that is just ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. So I bought this. Now half of my stuff works. The other half won't work because this this device combines both of the channel whether you set it up as a router or you set it up as an access point it doesn't matter it will not broadcast it will not show you 
the 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 so let me show let me show you something now okay let's just put this into prep context basically so let's get this uh, tp link app open so deco app because that's okay let's sort of go on to so settings wi-fi there is no option here for you to sort of uh, change change the uh, select between the two frequencies 2.4 on and off so i'll show you what's on this picture so if you look here under the main network i hope you can see this you get a selector where you can actually sort of toggle off on and off the the the, the frequency um that you want to sort of turn it up there you got a scroll, scroll scroll further down and you can do that and apparently you can only do it on those two on those three models that they've mentioned now i would have thought that this was a brand new uh, latest edition that would have come with everything built in had they rushed this out of the factory what's going on here i don't know but certainly this is going back now because I, you know yes it's opened but i bought it from amazon amazon's great I'll give them thumbs up for delivering stuff next day and things like that. But unfortunately, this is going back. One of the main reasons, uh, well, what, what, yeah, one of what, one of the main reasons why I, I went and bought this versus other mesh system is that this is a hybrid system. What that means is that it, it'll 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 communicate and create a mesh Wi-Fi within your home through the air between the three units if that fails and if you have a thick wall or some sort of an obstruction in between it'll switch switch to power line so this is what it says the whole home power line mesh system so it's a hybrid system it'll it'll interact with one unit to another unit to another regardless of if there is a signal break then it'll switch to the power line and it'll send it'll broadcast a signal through that um, or I should say send the signal through that um, so it's vice versa which is why I thought that this was a perfect buy but what let me down was that you cannot select you cannot select the two two uh, two frequencies it will only broadcast both combined into one which was a bit of a ridiculous that basically so there we are so my advice to everybody and anybody who's, who's who's trying to buy this mesh system is to be very careful even on the website it does say 2.4 and 5 gigahertz now if you have equipments like i have that only runs on 2.4 and other devices runs on five gigahertz, uh, you know, on, on both band, band, I should say, then you should you should sort of maybe contact or look at forums, make sure that people are sort of pointing these things out, you know, or even contact the manufacturer and confirm it with them before you commit yourself. Because if you, I've, I've, my my house is full full with, full of EW link adapters, so I'm you know. I'm, I'm, I've, I've configured a lot of things in the house that's sort of uh, with EW Link. Now the EW Link will only support 2.4 gigahertz. So effectively, what that means is that I still have to run that power line kit what I've shown you before, that that sends a 2.4 gigahertz signal versus this stupid thing, you know, that will not. The, those devices will not pair up. I tried it and it will not pair up. It'll, you know, it just won't do it. So it's a bit of a disappointment. I've tried to be uh, calling TP Link. Stayed there for about several minutes um, and the phone got cut off because there's nobody to answer my uh, te technical questions. The, the reason I rang is that I'm, when, I, when I buy something, I don't like returning it unless it's faulty or unless I absolutely have to. But I will do as a human, I'll fulfill my duties. Um, and, and, and what that means is contacting the manufacturer and see if they can give me some indications as to how they will resolve this issue. The issue will be resolved. How soon? If it's one year down the line, forget it. They can go back. Because I'll buy by buy one year, they'll, they must have bought out revision two, revision three, with various other functions with these devices. Um, if it's a down the line in a short couple of months, I'll hang on because I picked them up for a fairly decent price. I think it's about 170 pound, but the normal selling price is over 200 pound. Um, so, what a disappointment! In terms of the signal, I'm not going to complain. Yes, they are being utilised around the house at the moment. Signal is great. I am getting what they've promised. It's working from that sense. But the biggest downfall is that it does not 
broadcast or allow you to configure both of the frequencies separately. So it's a bit of a thumbs down for this, unfortunately. Um, or my advice to TP-Link would be is to crack on with the firmware before this goes, you know, before people are start taking things back. Because yes, at some point, certain devices, older devices, or certain devices will be quite picky. Um, and only pair up with 2.4 gigahertz, whereas this will combine them both and send the, the, the so-called whatever tri-band, whatever it is. I'm not going to go into the technical side of that, but I believe that's what the case is and that's what's going on. So anyway, hope you guys have a great new year um, and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Take care and bye for now.